What's up world, Tyler Harris here. Hey, a mentor of mine once told me, you're either in a storm, just got out of one, or heading towards one. So if you're going through hell, keep on going. Adler believed that perceived disadvantages often prove to be well-disguised advantages because they force us to develop attitudes and abilities that would have otherwise gone undiscovered. It is only as we compensate for those disadvantages that we discover our greatest gifts. My favorite quote ever is every successful person has a painful story where your painful story have a successful ending. You know, everybody gets knocked down. Everybody gets beat up. Like whether it was physically in your situation <laughs> or whether it's emotionally or just beat up in general by life, but it's what happens when you get knocked down that, that ultimately matters. And so, you know, there's always going to be struggles in life and obstacles in life. Things are always going to happen. Uh, it's what, you know, it's what you do in reaction to that, that ultimately determines where you end up. The reality is like the crazier, the more horrible and terrible their situation was, is almost like proportionately where they go to. But what this theory of compensation is telling us is that of course, that's why they're so successful. Of course, that person rises to this insanely high level of success because they were so far down and beaten down and at such a disadvantage from the very beginning. And they were able to climb up through that and get over that and move beyond past that in the things that they built within themselves, the determination, the tenacity that they were able to embody to get through those things when applied towards the positive, when applied towards normal quote unquote circumstances, puts them at a, such a huge advantage, especially in the business world, but in every, every single part of your life. But in order to grow, you have to be stretched. In order for anything to grow, it has to be stretched. And typically, there is a struggle involved in the stretching process. Um, but struggling has a super negative connotation. Uh, I just like to look at it as growth. Like, is growing important? Like, and obviously the answer to that is 100% yes, you have to grow in order to level up. There's a reason for the struggle that you're going through, that there's a purpose in the pain that you're in right now, and that you may not realize until hindsight, but there will be a reason. It may be a month from now, maybe a year from now, maybe 10 years from now, but there will be a moment when you go, oh man, now I get it. Now I know I went through that. It's, it's so that I can get through this. Well-managed failure is the leading cause of success. So I want you to think about that right now. Whether you're currently going through a failure, whether you're just getting over or on the other side of a failure, or inevitably you know failure at some point is going to happen, think about that. Well-managed failure is the leading cause of success. To me, that means that you can fail your way to the top. What I know to be true from my own life uh, and the lives of so many others that I've seen is that typically the absolute best thing for you, the blessing that you've been hoping to receive is just on the other side of that struggle. And this is one of the most important messages that I love putting out there because it's so encouraging to people that are going through a struggle. And that's this, is that until you become the person that can receive that blessing that's on the other side of your struggle, you won't be able to step into it. So think about that. Who do I have to become? Who do I have to become to get through the struggle that I'm going through so that I can receive the blessing that's on the other side of it?